854 million people do not have enough to eat in a world of such abundance. The majority of the world live that way without adequate food, waking up hungry, hearing children crying, babies dying in the arms of their mother or their father because they couldn't get food. A number of wars are being fought because people are hungry. Almost everyone says, I am going to do anything to ensure that my child goes to bed at least with one meal. Poverty means uh, absence of all human rights. Because a poor person doesn't have any human right, you name it, they don't have it. For a person or a community whose life is threatened because of starvation or because of uh, an illness that can easily be prevented, uh, those are deprivations of human rights. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted at a time when the world was very fearful. If we had upheld the Universal Declaration, maybe that's the way to put it, what a different world we would live in because there would be no family that would wake up hungry. We would have, we have enough food in the world. It's a matter of whether we care enough. We cannot leave it to governments alone, to businesses alone, or to the civil society alone. We need to work together. We're calling for the world to rise up and uh, declare that uh, we profess our commitment again uh, to this uh, Declaration of Human Rights. And the foundation of it will be literally hundreds of millions, perhaps a billion people on earth who say, we demand these rights from our leaders. You are empowering people. You are saying, this is something you can claim. It is yours. Join us. I believe that in the end, it is kindness and generous accommodation that are the catalysts for real change. I'm sure if we all work together and we all take the attitude of what can we do, how can we organize ourselves to do it, we can make a difference in this world of ours. You can blow up.